question you want me to address or just start off by I, 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 what do you want me to say? Let's uh, let's just start off with uh, with why you wanted to come to New Orleans. Then we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, obviously, it was a great opportunity for me to come to New Orleans. Um, couldn't have asked for a better organization with a better uh, head coach, better team, better quarterback. And um, I'm just really excited to get to New Orleans and get to work. What specifically kind of stood out about uh, about the organization? What was it? Was it uh, uh, like the the success they've had recently, or what was was there any anybody on the staff you wanted to work with specifically? Uh, it, it, it's a winning we're going to win an organization. I, I wanted to be a part of a winning organization, and I was lucky to be in Pittsburgh the past five years. And uh, I feel like I'm coming from a winning culture, so I feel like I'm going to fit in. Uh, fit in well with, with the, the locker room and um, it, it'll be different playing in a, a 4-3 that, that, you know in Pittsburgh I got used to the 3-4 but in college I, I you know I played with my hand down in, in a lot of different positions so uh you know I, I'm excited uh, and I think I'll be a good fit for the for the team. Anthony you've also been a core special teamer how do you feel like you'll contribute on the special teams and do you know a lot about the special teams units? Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, really, really lucky to have been with Danny Smith, my special team coach the past five years in Pittsburgh. Uh, just, you know, taught, taught me the, the ins and outs of special teams. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm going to be able to take that knowledge that I learned there and, and uh, bring it to New Orleans. Do you have any idea specifically how, how they'll use you on defense? Uh, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but I know uh, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my hand back down in the dirt. So in Pittsburgh, we were in a two-point stance, running a three-four, uh, but in, in, still on some passing situation, I was able to put my hand down. So it's not like I haven't done it the past the past five years. Is that something that that kind of intrigues you? Is that something you were kind of looking for in your next stop? For sure. For sure. Uh, I've always liked rushing with my hand down. Uh, better than, than than out of a two point, so uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Anthony, how much of a learning curve do you think it'll be just to sort of reacclimate yourself to uh, to play in that position in that sort of way? Uh, I think it'll be, it, it, you know, we, like I said in Pittsburgh, I, I I was rushing out of a three point stance, uh, you know, really whenever we ran our nickel packet. So I got to do it a whole bunch. And I'm when, I, when we played, uh, I, we played New Orleans in the preseason. I was rushing out of a three-point stance in, uh, in the Superdome. And, and, and when we played um, in, in the regular season, I was rushing out of a three-point stance. So I'm sure the coaches saw me that I was able to do that. Hey, how, how weird was it being a, a free agent during this time that we're all finding ourselves in right now. Uh, do you feel like that that kind of changed the course for you as, as far as how you yeah, feel? Yeah, it, it, it for sure, for sure. Um, for, for me, specifically, just because I had um, off, an off the field issue last year and teams wanted to, you know, see uh, for me to come in on, a, on, a, on visits and we weren't able to do that this year. So that was that was the, a different, I know, for myself and a whole bunch of free agents across the NFL. Anthony, can you talk about that experience a little bit, um, you know, and how much maybe you, you, you learn from that process and maybe have grown as not only a player, but as a person? Oh, for sure. Um, definitely had to take a, take a step back and, and, uh, evaluate myself personally and, and, and fix the issues that I had to fix. And uh, a lot, I have a lot of gratitude for the Steelers sticking by me during that, during that time in my life. And, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful for uh, the Saints, uh, the, the trust that, you know, I'm a high character guy. And I can't really, I really wait to get involved in the community in New Orleans and, and uh, just, just be able to get, get out there and start uh, get to work. Anthony, when you're signing with a team and, and you're not able to visit them and you're not really able to see them face-to-face, -face, 
I guess, how much do you have to go on your gut feeling as opposed to, to much of anything else? I mean, yeah, you know, there is a winning tradition, but how much do you have to lean on your gut feeling? Uh, it, it, it feels right. It definitely feels right. I feel like I need a change of scenery. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for the future. I can't, I can't control what's happened in the past. And uh, I'm excited for the future. And I'm, I'm ready to see what uh, – I'm ready to get down there and, like I said, get to work. Normally at this time, you know, you would be able to meet new guys in the locker room and, and whatnot. So what's it been like for you trying to introduce yourself to a team uh, over the computer? Uh, I haven't I haven't really gotten a chance to talk to any of the, uh, the guys yet. Um, I remember uh, playing against – you know, when we played it, played in, in 2000, 2017, I, uh, we, we, I, we were talk, I was talking trash to a whole bunch of the special, uh, all special teams with a whole bunch of guys out there. So, uh, it'll, it'll be fun to get in the locker room and, and, uh, and starting to bond with those guys. And I, I know it's going to be a different year, uh, just because of, of, you know, teams not being in the building at this part of the year. So, uh, when we get to training camp, we're going to have to get all acclimated quickly to each other, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's got to be something you miss right now, right? Like right now, normally. Sure, for sure, OPA for sure. It's it's just, yeah, for sure. You, you know, the, the, the routine has changed with all this, but, uh, you know, just got to stay active. Uh, I've, been, I've been working out twice a day uh, here back home in Tampa, so. I've been uh, just trying to stay in shape and, and stay ready, get to keep my body ready for the season. Are you working out in a gym or do you have a home gym? Yeah, yeah, I'm working out in a gym uh, back home, uh, Cooper Sports Performance back home here in Tampa. Are you training with any uh, any coaches, any any trainers helping you train? Uh, I've been training with my trainer for a long time now, Josh Cooper. Um, uh, we we have a whole bunch of whole bunch of guys from from different teams that, that train in the gym, so we get we get a uh, really good work in. What is your training session kind of? You know, what does it kind of look like maybe on a day to day basis? Uh, mornings we speed and uh, lifting. And then uh, in the afternoon, I'll, I'll go to the field and, and get my grass work in. Does anybody have anything else for Anthony? I'm all set. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Anthony. you. All right. Guys. Nice, nice to meet all you guys. I hope you guys are all staying safe right now during this time. Thank, Thank you. You. you too. Thanks. Thanks. You too.